centre in Orlando. Hi, I'm Holly Cavanaugh and I am from American Idol and we are here in Orlando, Florida for our show tonight. And the American Idol experience has definitely changed my life completely because, I mean, last year I was sitting in my room not really doing anything, just trying to figure out what I was going to do and then I tried out for Idol and now I'm here traveling to different places and singing everywhere, so it's a lot of fun. And have you been to Orlando before? Yeah, my parents used to take, take us to Disney like every year, so I'm really familiar with Orlando. Yeah, so you did, the, did you do the thing yesterday as well with everybody else? Yeah, to we went to Disney, it was really fun, and we went to see the um, American Idol experience, okay. and we walked on stage with some of the people that were competing and it was really fun. So what was that reaction like when you walked on? People were just like, oh, I don't think they really expected it. I don't know if they've done that before, so it was fun. Well, not with you guys around. No, right? not with <laughs> us anyway, no. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, what was your favorite ride at Disney? Um, I think, well, mine was probably the rock and roller coaster, okay. the um, Aerosmith one. That was really fun because it's just really fast, and we went on it like three times, so right. it was fun. <laughs> and you went to some other parks as well? We went to um, we went to Epcot at night, and we did the um, the simula the simulator ride okay. where you like go up and you just go over a, a load of like different places, and that was that was really fun. It's like a relaxing one, so I really enjoy that one too. Cool. So you've been to the other theme parks as well. Have you been yeah. Sea World. You've been to Universal. Yep, we went. I've been to all of them because my dad, my dad and my mom used to bring me here like every year when I was little. So we've done literally everything here. <laughs> cool. Cool. So what is your favorite park? Uh, Put you well, on the spot. Oh. I do, I love going back to Disney because no matter how old I am, every time I go back I always feel like I'm like nine again or like ten going back, so that's really fun and to watch the fireworks, but I do love Universal as well because Jaws is one of my favorite rides as well. Oh, that's close, yeah, I know I was so upset when I found out, but... Um, <laughs> they got the Potter thing, you yeah, that. Yeah, I love Harry Potter too. Right, okay, so tell me about your future and what you hope the future holds for you. Um, I hopefully I'm working on setting, getting signed at the moment, so hopefully get signed and make an album, and then hopefully just continue making music. Okay. So what was your most difficult period on Idol or the diff most difficult challenge you had to overcome? You think? Um, I think having to overcome, just I had to get my confidence and self-belief in myself that I could like go on stage and really perform because I think I really let everyone that was watching me get to me. I was scared of what people were saying, if they were going to like it or just all this other stuff. So I just had to remember. But then, I mean, on the show there was a marked change. There was one week where it sort of... So yeah. You sink home and you, you really exploded from that point onwards. What advice would you give to somebody that's looking at the show and then hoping to repeat the course you've just taken? Um, I th when I hit that point, I stopped listening. I, so, I mean, I would say listen, but at the same time, also remember what you want because I, I listened to everyone and for completely forgot what I wanted, and that's where I, I think my downfall was. And then when I hit that point of just, I remember it was rolling in the deep, and everyone told me not to sing it, and I was like, nah, I don't really care. So I sung it, and then that was my turning point.